Good morning, guys. What we have today is a uh, basic maintenance of the property. And oh wow, I just saw this right here. Got to give them a call in regards to it. But yeah, we have to clean this out, put on some long needle pine straw, and mow this property get it back into uh, pristine conditions so uh let's get hot Okay guys, this is what it looks like once the uh, beds are cleaned and sprayed. All right, let's start laying out this straw. guys I've been asked why we use pine straw here in the south if you take a look around pine trees they're all over so if you put down regular mulch what's gonna happen is you're gonna have that black pretty or brown mulch and the pine needles are gonna fall right over your mulch and guess what you're not gonna be able to see your mulch it's gonna be all pine needles. So why not utilize what you have in your environment to make your home beautiful? All right, let me go ahead and finish up. Also guys, pine needle is cheaper than mulch. It spreads extremely further than what a cubic yard of brown or cypress mulch will actually cover. So it's pretty good. And all you have to do throughout the, uh, the year is during the uh, spring, put down a nice coat of pine straw. Come fall, put down another coat, you're good to go. All right, guys, this is what an, an average bed look like. Uh, I want to say about a year after we install the pine straw. You notice it all decomposed. All right, let me show you the difference with some brand spanking new pine straw. Yo. As long as I <laughs> a treasure lent me from a obsession, Obs obsession.
a commercial will come at this point, and uh, speaking of commercials, our title, What Do You Want, is a natural springboard for selling the sponsor's product. It's impossible, ask a baby not to cry, it's just impossible. What do you want? Brought to you by Gertie Beats. guys we're finished and um let me show you something here look at that this is what we found when we first got to the property now I would advise some of you guys not sure if everybody's doing it but um just in case you guys aren't doing it before you service a property it doesn't matter if you get go there on a weekly basis walk the property first to ensure that there's nothing different, you know what I mean? Um, no damage was done that you will get blamed for. Um, as you can tell, as soon as we got here, we called the homeowner and sent him a photo. Also, I'm not sure if you can see, we did not mow that area. This way, no one can say that we rolled over that thing with the dog on lawnmower and broke a pipe. All right, my tip of the day. <laughs> but uh, other than that, guys, this is what we look like. This is a pine straw. Looks pretty good, right? It's gonna all compress 
and uh, minimize the amount of weeds you get in your plant beds. Some people say, you know, that's a lot of pine straw, but guys, let me tell you, this is the South. Weeds are going to grow. So we try to pack it in real nice and tight. And that is it. Oh yeah, that's my apprentice on the other side. I'm getting ready to do the uh, the other one. We do both properties. But yeah, this is it, guys. And this is the front. Let me see. Can you see it? Good. That's it. And straw.